those vague rumours about doing, what's it, the 50th anniversary of the relief of somebody? The anniversary of the, uh, of, uh, of the legs, Lord Hill's legs. They've been together now for 40 years. This isn't going out as news, is it? Of course it's news. Oh. It's the biggest news ever. Yeah, I see. It was an obituary column, wasn't it? Back from the dead. <laughs> That's wonderful thinking. The 50th anniversary of broadcasting is marvellous. Really, it was a brilliant idea. On the 50th anniversary of radio, which must be now almost dead, you know, I lay wreaths outside the Aeolian Hall every, every 2nd of December. How do you think you'll all get on together again after this long gap of doing other things? Pretty well. Well, I see, I, I see Peter pretty frequently and Harry less frequently. But then you only have to see him, really, because he's so big, he makes up for it. Every time you see him, it's like seeing him eight times. You, see. you had a lot to do with the writing of the original Goon shows. How did you do it? How did it all start? Slog. Just plain slog and giving your life's blood. That's how it started. It was pretty advanced stuff for those days. I mean, it was a completely different kind of comedy and people weren't used to that kind of humour. They, they were receptive to it right from the start. Uh, um, I think everybody's got a sense of humour of a peculiar kind and some people aren't catered for with it, you know. Uh, thank God there's Monty Python on at the moment, which is the only thing that I laugh at. But Monty Python is really a direct follower on in your oh, yes, line of a, comedy. Oh, yes, it's, a, it's um, one of my great-great-great-grandchildren, you know, and I'm very proud of them. <laughs> How do you account for the fact that even though the goons hasn't been... The a... rattling sound you can hear in the background, folks, is a 2B pencil, a biro pen, and a lead crayon. I thought you ought to know the composition of that sound. You know you're supposed to sit still when you're being interviewed. Well, why did you make me undress, with to you? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Why well, have we got a bed in this room? That's what I want to know. I'm Where glad you found out what it was, because I've been sleeping on that for a long time, and I've been wondering what it was. A bed, eh? That's B-E-D, isn't it? A it's bed. a single bed. A single bed, yes. It's getting married in the autumn, actually. It'll be all right, though. So. Ta-da! <laughs> now, where was I? Yes, I was saying something quite England. serious. No, I was saying something about the goon show. Um, yes. yes, how do you account for the fact that even though it's been off the air for a long time. People still remember it so well. It was a unique experience for the first time we, uh, we, we, uh, thinking comedy. It wasn't just nonsense, uh, like some of the vacuous people say, oh, it's zany and wacky. That means they don't understand it. It was the traditional English nonsense school of humour. Only England could take it and people of English stock. That's why it went well in Canada and Australia and England. America are baffled by it, but then the Americans are baffled by the Americans, so they had no hope for them. What does it make you laugh now? Yeah, it does. Uh, when I, I, I thought they might, I, I thought it might be nostalgic to play any of them again, but uh, it came about my son, who was too young to know all about it, uh, when he was about 14 or 15, he asked me what all the tapes were in this hut I've got, and I said, they're goon shows. He said, what are they? I said, well, they're sort of... And he said, can I play them? So he did. And then he, uh, I discovered that... Uh, he had this gang of kids in every Saturday who used to give baby and coke and pot and naked women of 60 and listen to the goon shows. And they dug it very much. And then I came in one day and uh, I, I heard it again and I thought it's still funny. So, um, ta -da. it's a very bad day, folks, here. Yeah. <laughs> it's raining and that. Uh, um, it's the Queen's rain, you know that. That's all officially Queen's rain out there today. Everybody's damp in this country, aren't they? If you stand any Englishman near a fire, you watch him steam. His clothes will steam. It's true. I boiled an egg on a man once. Just like that. Presumably you're going to write the script of this one-off anniversary edition for yeah. Lord Hill's Legs. Yes. Have you any idea yet of the storyline and what it's going to sound like? Well, it's, uh, it's tall with a good head of hair. The story is very good. I was hoping you might do a potted version of it for us. Oh, we're a house train. We don't have to be potted anymore. Um, we're remarkably clean actors, you know. People who watch us on the stage and say, notice how clean we are around the microphone. Very clean. Are you looking forward to it? Backwards and sideways as well, yes. It's great, yes. I don't know. I'm too old to get excited anymore, you know. Uh, it's, it'd be nostalgic, I suppose. Did you miss it when it stopped? Yes, I, I went around days looking for it. I, I miss it altogether. Uh, I know it's out there somewhere, you know, but I just couldn't remember where I parked it, I suppose. <laughs>